Hello everyone. Good afternoon. How's been our day? Our week? How are we enjoying the lockdown? Or oh, we are brooding over the lockdown lockdown. What has been happening to us? How are we taking it? Are we maximizing the time? Or we're just sitting, thinking and waiting for it to just pass. Then we can just move on. Some of us are moving on to, maybe they are resuming their jobs. They are going back to meet their family, probably they have been stranded somewhere. And then, some are just going to move out of the lockdown or the pandemic to the life that they used to live that has not been profitable. You sleep and wake up daily. You don't even know what the day holds. You just wake up. Maybe you don't even get to have your bath on time because, well, there's nowhere to go. Like me. Oh, Antonike. I can see you. Good afternoon, ma. Like me. Hmm? When I say like me, I'm going to tell you about that. Or maybe you have something you just do at home. Maybe you read. Or you just wake up, have your bath. Eat, watch movie, and then the 24 hours goes like that without achieving anything. And my my my, my one of my favorite features and the best so far, my, my favorite right now. Apostle Selman said, I can't remember the, the amount of of time is he, he he said, but if you sleep for particular hours in a day, and you are probably I think 25 years or so. You have slept for 10 years of your life. Okay, now just imagine that you are, you are lying down for 10 good years of your life. Please. That means you just have 15 years. And in that 15 years, maybe you went to school. Or you learned you learn a trade. Or you, you were just there. Well, I was once like that. Let me say till a few weeks ago. Maybe a week or two ago. I was like that. I sleep. I wake up. I even have outlined, you know, um, to-do list. But sincerely, you want to hear me? I don't get to do them. I read a lot. I love reading. I really love reading. Hola, mi daughter. How are you? Thanks for coming online. I read a lot. And I will, I will say, like, that's the only thing I do in the day. I, 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 I love watching movies, but I don't watch movies. I select what I watch. I can have series of movies and they're just there. Because I feel like there is something that I have to do. I, but you want, if you want to know, I spend most of my time with God. And the reason being that I have found out from time that he's the only one he's the only true friend that i've had so far he's the only one that i can call at any time he's not busy he's not he's not he, he doesn't have a tight schedule he want to listen to me even though i cannot hear him i know i've developed my mindset i've i've gotten to the extent that i know that even if i can't feel god is not by feeling i know that he's just there with me a lot of things have happened to me, like I've shared yesterday and a day before. And it has made me to understand the dealings of God. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about my platform, Beyond Ashamed. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be telling you what is what the platform is all about. And then, I will be starting with shame. When you hear shame, what do you think? What are you ashamed of? What has brought shame to your life? What has made you shameful? Well, shame, according to the dictionary, I'm going to paraphrase this. Something that should have been kept private, but is now exposed or is exposed, was exposed, thereby bringing an uncomfortable or painful feeling due to recognition. That is, now people know my secret. Now people know this. Oh my goodness, what are they going to see? Then you start feeling shame. 
okay i i think i remember something right now when i just got admission into the university i had a friend a girlfriend that's um, we are doing good I, I had a girlfriend that we met in school but i because i, I i've lived this kind of life of being indoor i was in the boarding house they would take us to school bring us back so i've never been used to going out or mixing with people or even doing things by myself so when it when it came to time for me to start going for lectures we have to pass through the faculty of um law faculty and before i even get to my own department please you don't want to you don't want to know Taya, what's up are you doing you don't want to know what happens when i'm passing through that place without my friend being around it got to a point i realized that i couldn't even go to the market to buy what i need to eat just because i feel like People are looking at me. I don't know what happened, but I knew that maybe I read a book or someone spoke to me. And then I decided one day that I am going. Whatever they have to say. I'm even, I want to even watch them and see if they are really looking at me. To my utmost surprise, I found out that no one was looking at me. No one even cared if I was passing. If anybody saw me, they were only going to greet me. Oh, well. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. Don't mind that cock that is going on it's midday and i don't know why it's going and it's locked down so it's, it's also affecting the cup don't mind me i was always afraid i was always feeling shame like they're looking at me maybe what i'm wearing is not good my combo is not all right oh please it was all wrong and i have to tell you something today that when you say you are shy you can't come out you cannot talk. You are very selfish. You are proud. Pride is the word. You are proud. And by that I mean, when you are proud, you are concerned about yourself. You think it is just all about you. Me, me and me. What would they say? What would they react? What would they think? I can't go there. I can't belong there. They are not my type. If they hear this, then they will think, oh, so she's been pretending. Oh, so she's not what she actually looks like. And actually, you have something to offer. I must confess, I've been like that. Not until I heard a message and was telling me, if you are proud, if you are shy, you are a very proud person. And I realized I must have been very proud, really. The thing that all that I have been through, the pains that I've had, and then the pleasure, the healing, and everything that I've, that, that I've, that I've achieved, that I've gained all along, and I've always had it in mind, I've always thought about it, that me, I'm going to share my story because I know there are people out there who needs it, who needs help, who wants to get healed, who wants to get freedom. But I've held on, I've held back because I was feeling like, hey, if I talk to me, that's all. But your mommy, my boy, daddy, my boy, then they will start questioning me. My dad will hear, my mom will hear. Oh, they will judge me. Oh, they will say. And that is why I'm here till today. But I'm here right now because I've broken that yoke. Shyness is not in me, pride is not in me. And then some people will, will that are listening to me right now, you might think, right? Do you see? Are you really proud? I accept that I was proud. You don't want to understand because pride, though, it has different meanings though, to different people. I was proud. To think that people would judge me for what I am talking about right now, for the freedom that I'm supposed to give to people, for the healing, for the help, for the strength that I'm supposed to give to people that I was holding back to myself, for the things that God has done for me that I was supposed to help people with that I've held back to myself, my testimony that I'm supposed to share to encourage someone that I've held back to myself. All these things are bright okay i was praying last night i was just thanking god like i really appreciate you how far you have brought me i i i i knew all along that it is not by my power god has been my strength but you know yesterday i i, I finally realized that Everything that I've been through, it was like I was hearing God telling me, do you know everything you have been through was just for this purpose? So I want to tell you that your story is your purpose. Please, if you are listening to me, you know me too well. I've graduated for like six years. I've applied for jobs 
that is more than my age like with the number of my age like if i calculate how many applications i've made it should be more than 100 i've not gotten one to date at some point i knew myself that i was never going to get any job so take it or leave it i know i've got something to do that is far better than sitting in one office and have somebody telling me sit down there do this do this i know i've got more to offer than in one corner so now understanding the fact that my story is my purpose i've been molested i was health challenged i was betrayed i was rejected i was disappointed i was denied and you think all those things don't mean anything they mean all the things that have happened to you, maybe you had an accident. No one believed that you would survive it. The process of healing that brought you back to life is a story. Someone needs to hear it. You were raped, but you are still here. Maybe you were even raped at a very tender age like myself. I wasn't raped, I was just molested. You know, there are different levels of molestation. And you feel like you can't you can belong, you can't talk, you don't want to say anything, you don't want to come out. That thing that has happened to you happened for a reason. It didn't just happen. It didn't just happen. Nothing happens for no reason. Everything happens for a reason. There is, there is a reason. Now I know my purpose. You want to hear, you want to know when my purpose became anti good afternoon, man. When my purpose became clear to me. Just like I, I knew all along that I have a I have a calling in the youth ministry. This platform is going to be focused on youth, in quote. But every other person that is in line with molestation, brokenness, health, and all that, you know, coming together. I was sick. You're gonna hear about my my health um, story maybe in two days time. I'll be online for ten days. I initially said it was gonna be twenty one days, but I reduced it to two, to ten days. After which I'll be coming online once every week, but I'll be online randomly. But I will be officially online. You will know that this particular day is Thursday. This, day. this is the time that she will always be online. So like I was saying, I, I now know that I was sick, I was molested, and everything that happened to me is because of somebody that is out there right now that needs to hear it, that needs to be helped, that needs to come out. The Unashamed platform was officially opened yesterday. It was, it was a dream, but a vision that was given to me over three years ago and i've been waiting on god on like when do you really want me to come up but well, now is the time and i am here and i am not going back yejide hello dear how are you doing it's going to be for healing healing for for her brokenness maybe you you are a rejected child i was i was tensed before i came online because i was watching a movie breakthrough that child was a he, he was an adopted child i've not finished watching the movie I'll, I'll go back to it after this after this session the child was adopted and he, if i think he's carrying that in his mind with him all along and he's not making himself happy he's not freeing himself he, he, he's he's broken within him he, he because he was told that his mother left him that she didn't want him maybe you're in that kind of situation maybe you you don't know who your father is your mother is living a useless life. Maybe your father is not attending to you. Maybe he's living a useless life. He's a, he's, he's a drunkard. He's, there are different kinds of levels of it like that. Or maybe you want to get freedom from your shame. The shame of, and she was raped. So, did you die? I'm not here to judge you, but I'm here to let you know that you it happened for a reason and that reason is what you are here to come and find out i am here for you to talk to me if you want to reach me 
there's a link that will come up with this video after the live session there's going to be a replay you can click on it to follow my page you can send me a message you can private chat me i am here to talk i am here to help this is what i've been called to do i have always known myself to help to talk to my friends when we were in school and now when i was remembering it last week how old was i that i was even encouraging a friend that was even passing through almost the same thing that I was passing through, but yet I was encouraging them and they were they were they were feeling they were they were they were at peace. They were feeling the peace. And I was always happy that I was always helping them. There's one of them on this platform, she might not even remember. I'll talk to her later and I'll remind her. Maybe you are feeling guilty. You think you were responsible. You think it was your fault that all the things happened that happened to you. They happened to you. Are you a young girl? Are you a young boy? Are you an adult? Are you a youth? Please don't mind my age. You. Someone has said to me before that, you, what do you know? What have you been through? And then I said, see, excuse me, sir. It is not by age. You. If I tell you what I've been through, then I, you would imagine how old I am to have passed through that. But that is the truth. I went through it. It was, um, it was, it was, it was, he was blown away. I only told him like something that happened in just a day, in a day, just a day. And then he was wondering, and you are like this? Yes, I am like this. And then I want to give, it's going to be a platform for people to rise above their limitations. Like I said, you have been health challenged. Maybe you are SS. Life has been very difficult. You have autism, different kinds of illness. All those things make people go depressed, make people go weak. They don't just want to do anything. They just want to let life pass by. Some will not even commit suicide, but they will be there and their life will just be going down right in their presence. Hi, Shefumi. Good afternoon there. Thanks for coming online. So this is what Be On A Shamed platform is going to be doing. I have people that are working with me already. I didn't just start this all by myself. And all thanks to my coach, Naomi Osemedua. She's a coach. Maybe you might like to 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 view a page. Let me type her name. <laughs> She's a very wonderful woman. A very wonderful coach. She has been through a lot. And so she's all around the world right now, sharing her story. She's all around the world right now, sharing her story, healing people. You, you don't want to know how many things she has done. She's a, she's a TEDx talker. Yes, she's a TEDx speaker twice because of her story. I know my story is taking me places, but it is not about the place it's taking me to. It's about the people that I'm called to save. It's about the people that I'm called to help. It's about my purpose. Some people are dying. Some people are walking about. They are empty. They are living a purposeless life. I said yesterday that I want to die empty. Being empty and dying empty is different. Some people will die empty like useless. But I'm dying empty when I must have exhausted the virtue God has placed in me. And I will go to my grave. I will smile. If some of you will be alive while I die, I will die at a very old age, maybe around 120. Mm. You will see me smiling. You can tell your children to watch out for that lady in case you die before you. Please, tell my. Please, I welcome your questions, your comments. Tomorrow's session is going to be a question and answer session. So I want people to talk to me. I want people to ask me questions. I want to help. I'm here to help. I'm not just here to talk. I don't want you to come here to come and just be listening to me. Ask me questions. I'm here to answer. I want to talk. That is what I've been called to do. I can talk and I can shout very well. In case if you are not hearing me, please type it, put it there. Let me know that you, can, you can't hear me well. I will speak louder than this. There is a lot about me that you will still find out. There's a lot about me myself that when I remember that, oh, do you see, you've actually gone through this one too. Aha, you try. You are a survivor. Really? Yes. 
and you too every one of us on earth have been through one thing or the other you don't have to come here to come and post it if you think you do you want to remain anonymous fine you can chat me up privately and i will know how to do that but come share your story come talk to me if you need help that is the main thing i am going to help you i'm going to strengthen you i'm going to help you through the healing process just like i have done too it was not easy no it was not easy it was not funny but i am here i'm alive i'm striving i am happy don't get it twisted i don't have it all i'm not perfect i have issues that i'm dealing with hello yeti mama how are you i have issues i have things that i'm dealing with but i don't allow that to affect my life i i i, I don't allow that to to you know some people like the bible says when you are fasting you shouldn't appear on your face some people carry the whole world it is not even their own problem anymore they carry the whole world problem and put it on their face but I know a lot of people here are listening to me right now and they are wondering, really, you've been through this? If you want to hear a bit, I, I'm not really talking about what I've been through right now today. You can go back to my previous video, yesterday's video, to hear. Just, that is just a bit, a, the tip of an iceberg because I'm just going to be releasing it one after the other. And then you'll be wondering, eh, any woman, you know. And to Nika, I know you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be saying that, you'll be saying, eh, any woman, you know. So you've been through all that. Yes, I've been through all that, but I am here. I'm alive. I'm here to fulfill purpose. I'm not going to carry that wealth. You know, they always say, if you want to find wealth, go to the grave. It's there. So many people have died without doing anything. So many people are out there, they feel like, my life is useless. What is the purpose? Your life is not useless. There is nobody that is here that is useless. No. Do you want to find out all this? Come walk with me. Let me hold your hand. But you want to hear the truth? It is not me. This platform is based. It's going to be based on, on biblical principles. Because that, that was what helped me. That is what is helping me. That is what this platform is all about. It has been God all the way. If you don't know him, please, it's time to find him. He's the best friend that you can ever have. Is the only true one. Is the only true help that you can ever get. Baby, how are you? Don't come and disturb my video. Please don't mind me. I have a little boy here. Please let him say hello. His name is Baby. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Please. Um. So please, if you have any question, I'm waiting. If you have any comment. I'm listening. If you have any contribution, I'm also here. Yeah. Say something. And if you know you don't want to talk here, you can private chat me. I'm always available. I will always be available. By the grace of God, as the Lord strengthens me. Thank you so much this afternoon for coming online. Thank you all for listening. And I hope that you all find your purpose. I hope that you all find your freedom. You find healing. You get help as you walk along with me. God bless you. Have a blessed day.